Yo guys, it's just Game here back with another video. Um, let's get into it. Hope you guys having a good uh, day. And um, let's get this reaction going. Alright, keep it cool, keep it classy. Alright, we found out that someone was living. Wow, this. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Alright. This happened to me a couple of years ago. My family and I moved to a new house. It was quite old, and it had been sitting empty for at least 15 years before my family decided to buy it. 15 years? 15? See, alright. Alright, yo, that's, that's just ridiculous. Like, I hope your parents is not, and, you know, is not just awkward and just don't, you know, want to put stuff off because act like nothing going on. I mean, I just, that's crazy really crazy at first I was just happy that we had a new house but after that I had some weird experiences my room was right across the bathroom and at night I would hear strange noises coming from it actually if you listened more carefully it sounded like it was coming from the walls but when I finally got enough courage to walk towards it the noises always stopped not much later, I got used to the sound and eventually stopped being scared of it. But that wasn't a problem. Wow, it's a whole eyeball. Look at that. It's a whole eyeball. Anyway, um, if you hear something in the background, like some type of noise, I think, you know, that's my um, AC. You know, that's my air conditioner, just letting you guys know. Because I would turn the AC off, but it's, it's kind of, you know, humid and stuff like that. Very humidity, just letting you guys know. But... What you mean get used to it? I wouldn't get used to that sound at all. You know, that's just crazy. That wouldn't be me. And like, wow, it just gave me the chills. Like, look at that. Doing too much. It's really crazy. Compared to other things, my stuff started to go missing. Like my clothes, underwear, and even one of my pillows. Sometimes I yelled at my little sister, since she often came into my room. I thought that she probably stole my stuff, but whenever I got mad at her, she said, Why would I take your underwear? I'm not a thief. Eventually, I couldn't find my stuff. Even worse, our food also went missing, little by little. My family and I felt uneasy. <clears throat> One night, I was laying in my bed about to go to sleep. And as I rolled over, I saw a figure in front of my what door oh. that sent chills down my spine. See, it took y'all that long just to feel, you know, uncomfortable when half of y'all uh, food started going missing. That is just crazy. You know, this is, um... So I rubbed my eyes and it was totally gone. I thought it was just my imagination, but after that, I started receiving little notes on my bedside table when I woke up. Pretty, I see you. Wow. And other weird things were written on it. However, I figured that my sister was trying to scare me, so I just ignored it. And that day became the most terrible memory of my entire life. One day, my dad and I were fixing up the bathroom. Because the entire house was pretty old, we were repairing the inside of the bathroom first. As we were tearing the tiles of the wall, Dad took the huge mirror off, and at that instant, I screamed. There was a little room behind the mirror, and there I found my stuff and even my underwear, along with empty food wrappers. We couldn't believe what we just saw and mom immediately called the police. They arrived pretty fast. See, I knew it would have been like in that area because it's like the mirror. You know what I'm saying? It's like, where else could the person have been hiding at? So, you, you know, after your dad took that mirror down, that's just scary, to be honest with you. But it took too many times to find out that somebody was living in your house and you know, y'all wasn't, y'all just blowing it off until y'all food started going missing, clothes started going missing, and just, it's just, then you saying you hear noises, so it's like that's 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 kind of that's creepy and it's you know, but it was it was y'all too, not just the person, is you too, because 
you didn't take the um well say you didn't um you didn't actually take the time to stop and to think about what was going on, you know? You just blew it off. You say, hey, it was just nothing. Nope. And that's where you messed up. That is where you messed up. And when they inspected that tiny room, they found out that there was a man who had been living in it for at least a couple of months. But, but he was not there, so the police promised that they would search for him outside. After that, we demolished the room, and since I turned 18 years old, I moved to my college nearby and got my own apartment. Sometimes, I go back to my hometown to visit my parents, but never spend the night. I know that the man was still never caught, and I'm always paranoid, wondering if he's still hiding somewhere in our house. Because of this... What is this ad? This ad sucks. Yes, sometimes I get occasional ads. Uh, anyway, um, that's the end of the video. Yep. And I'm going to be doing more to Mr. Nightmare. And also more to this guy right here, you know, love their channel, love their animation and style their, of their novels and how they say it too. So, don't forget to also like, comment, and subscribe. And more videos are coming out. Um, everything will be down in the description down below. And see you guys in the next video. And that's about it. And don't, f and don't forget to, um, you know... The, the um to check out my gameplays also and keep it cool keep it classy see you guys in the next video all right peace out